good afternoon and welcome back my fellow wildlife warriors we have been reported or uh, it was reported that there is a pack of wild dogs with puppies available on this afternoon's drive so we decided to mumble around a little bit meander around until it uh, until the sun is in the light at the right level nice kind of light soft light you can see the photographer serious photography at the back so um, yeah, let's see what the puppies are up to. It's nine puppies, I think, in this uh, litter. I'm just going to count the adults and see what the dynamics are all about. But thanks for joining, for tuning in. So there is the puppy sleeping close to the water. They grouped up there. They typically do that. They separate from the adults. The adults are around us, um, to the right of us, and behind the vehicle different spots and I did do a quick head count on these puppies and I counted 12 individuals wow. so that's a very successful litter once again Fantastic. amazing out is from one female the alpha female that sure. will deliver anything up to about 18 or 19 pups has been recorded before wow. and I can see they sort of looking that they want to become active here some of the adults coming through there we go so happily chirping away with yeah. the adults approaching it shows you the care that the adults sure. give to the youngsters Sure. Is they yeah. constantly, they always keep an eye on the youngsters. Right. Beautiful light. light. Yeah, this is gorgeous afternoon light. I think our sure. timing to get into the sighting was impeccable. Absolutely. So such a good point that uh, Muhammad, one of my guests, made now. And said what the adults would do after a successful hunt that they'll actually regurgitate the meat when they meet up with the puppies and they are so keen on feeding each other they'll actually regurgitate that same piece of meat up to four or five times between different individuals uh, this is definitely turning into an immaculate wild dog sighting it's so, we're so happy to have them back because it's it's been a couple of months for these guys to mature nicely so they can actually follow the parents on hunts and the packs are definitely getting more mobile so on the previous episode or one of the previous episodes we did have a sighting of wild dogs it was five adults but it was part of the northern pack and it was actually some of the hunting a hunting party that was sent out by the northern pack so this is definitely some of the the members coming from the from the south so best of both worlds working on one of the southern packs of wild dogs see milling around it's always so comfortable if you as an animal sleep close to the water you can quench your thirst at any stage it's like sleeping in a pub i suppose <laughs> eh? lovely play behavior yeah. and as I've mentioned before these are some of the busiest bodies in the bush felt so you can't blink because they can move at any stage when they start playing especially when the adults want to attempt to hunt if there's a potential for a hunt to happen at some stage though They'll get a move on and then it's so super difficult to follow a large pack of dogs. Yeah, so we are going to quickly maneuver out from this position to get onto the opposite side of the dam, see if we can get those youngsters from the front if they drink water. That can be an epic, epic position. But sometimes you miss it, but let's hope, let's hope. Let me quickly get this 
three-ton vehicles swung their round stick. Stay with me. So we managed to get around this dam in time. Just to have a little bit of a different view and yeah, perspective, perspective on the animals, yeah. And there you can see some of the nice reflections as well in the water. So as you guys can see there, it looks like the entire pack is getting up and active and they are starting to head north from here and they're hunting with the sun behind them well, that's the first instinct let's keep the sun behind us so if prey animals are in front of us they will look straight into the western sun sure. okay let's move around and catch up with them So another good question coming here from the back if these five to six month old pups would hunt with the adults the answer is they would hold back if the adults attempt to hunt but there will be one or two that guards the puppy so one of the lower ranked individuals will be helpers or babysitters and when the adults did manage to make a successful hunt they will always bring back meat back to the puppies to actually go come and feed them and feed the helpers they'll regurgitate for the helpers as well it's the thing about the dogs they so on the move let's keep try and keep up with them yeah the pups are slowly but surely backtracking the parents in no rush whatsoever Are they following me? Oh, three of them. Are they following me? Oh. this one could have moved in front of it. So, in the last few minutes of our wild dog sighting, and they are as I said before, these guys, they have very erratic movements, so it's so difficult to follow the entire pack and get nice visuals. But yeah, like I said, we are almost done and there's a lot of excitement in the back of the vehicle over here. These puppies are absolutely adorable and they are so inquisitive. is beating furiously in my chest <laughs> so we're leaving the wild dogs uh, it was a great way to start off the afternoon uh, we did drop Isaac off earlier on on Tumbela's tracks so we're gonna go to uh, Mr. Matunzi and see if he got any luck if you didn't find anything thanks for tuning in this time and um, I will catch you on the next wildlife sighting this is from me and I'll meet of the Timberwark. Cheers for now. To all wildlife enthusiasts, thanks for watching and remember to like and subscribe. From the Timbavati Game Reserve and the Rockfic team, stay safe and cheers for now. <laughs>